So here we have 9.6 identifying the center and the radius to graph the circle given its equation in general form. And so in order for us to solve this, we actually have to get it into standard form. So general form is like this, where you have your x squared, your y squared, your x's, your y is a constant equal to zero. That is the general form, like this. ax squared plus b b y squared plus cx plus dy plus e equal to zero. So it has to be in that form in order for it to be considered general form, okay? Now, what we wanna do is we wanna turn it into this form. Because, actually no, not even that. No A and no B. We wanna turn it into this so that way, um, and normally, there's no value here. That would be something totally different, which we'll get into. When you have A's and B's, it becomes um, an ellipse. An ellipse is like an egg shape, whether the egg is like up like this or whether it's laying down like that. But that's an egg shape when there's coefficients in front. When there's no coefficients on the x squared and the y squared, then we know it's a circle, okay? So we want it to look like this. Now, we do have a technique that will let us take this and this and then get down to a square. That's called completing the square. And it will let me take the y and the y and then complete the square to find this. So how do I do that with this problem? The first thing you want to do is move the constant over to the right hand side so that it's kind of out of the way. And then the second thing you want to do is rearrange these so that you have your x's together and then your y's together. So you have x squared plus 6x. I'm going to leave a blank so that I complete my square, a big plus sign, and then the positive y squared, the plus 2y, and then plus the blank. Now we do know that whatever we add to the left hand sides, we also have to add to the right-hand sides, okay? That's just how you solve equations in general, so you have to do that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to come to the side and I'm gonna figure out what are these numbers that I have to add to both sides for this part to complete the square, and what is the number that I have to add to both sides to complete this square, okay? We'll go to the side and figure that out. So how do I do that? I take this guy, six, positive six over two, and I square it. That's three over two squared, which is nine. So nine is going to be the number that I add on both sides to complete the square for the x terms. Then for the y terms, um, we're gonna go ahead and complete this square. So I'm gonna take positive two over two and square it. I get one squared, which is just one. So I'm gonna be adding one to both sides. Now once that's done, I can factor this part. I get x plus three, x plus three, or I can write that as x plus three squared. There's my big plus sign. And then I can factor this part, which is gonna be y plus one, y plus one, or I can write that as y plus one squared. And then over here, I just add all of those together and I get 16. And so then now once it's in its standard form, I can pick out the center. So remember, for the center, you're going to pick out the opposite value. So this is positive 3, it's going to be negative 3. This is positive 1, it's going to be negative 1. And then for the radius, you're going to take the square root of this number, and the square root of 16 is 4. And so this is what they're wanting but they also want you to graph it. So when you graph it in Alex, what you're going to do is you're going to start with the center. So plot the center, wherever it is, and then you're going to grab, um, you don't even plot the center, to be honest, you don't plot it. What you do is you're gonna grab um, the icon that I believe it looks like this something like that, okay? So what you do is you click on that icon 
And the first thing that you need to click on the graph is the center. So you will click here and then you will click the radius four. Now, how do you get the radius four? For the second click, you will either have to go four up, four down, four to the left, or four to the right. You only need to do one of them, okay? Because radius means it's four units out in any direction, right? That's what makes the circle. So it doesn't matter where you go, how you get that fourth point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to the right. So one, two, three, four. So my second point would be there. And as you're sliding that point out to mark it, you're gonna notice that the circle is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? Until you land where you need to land. And then once you click that, it's gonna finally mark in that, um, it's gonna finally mark in that circle. So it'll be something like this. Now I'm horrible at drawing, but you get the idea. It looks something kind of like that. Um, I'm trying to draw, but I'm horrible when it comes to drawing. But you get the idea, it should look like that. It should be a circle centered around this and then four units out, four units up, four units down, four units to the left. and you've created this circle here. So in the computer, once you have this, you're gonna click on that icon first, then click where your center is, and then you're gonna drag it out. So you can always drag it to the right if you want, or always drag it up, whatever. But you drag it out four units. So you have to go one, two, three, four units, and then you can click it and it'll draw the circle for you.